Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to talk about what exactly is an Einstein bot in Salesforce and also when do we use Einstein bot in Salesforce. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you to please subscribe to this channel. So let us get started. But before even going to Einstein bot, let's understand it with the real time scenario. Let's say you are running an e-commerce store right you have an e-commerce website where customers can come buy the product whatever they want they can add to the cart and then ship off right so they just buy the product but let's say in the further scenarios what happens is customer finds the issue with the size or customer just wants the refund back or customer wants a replacement of that particular order so what do they do is they go to your website and they go to help and support and where they can talk to a particular agent right let's uh, understand it okay so what happens is they go to your website they uh, talk to an agent so they get a chat box at the bottom okay and there they chat to an agent they talk to the agent saying that okay this is the issue this is my order number and that's what issues that i'm facing there's a size issue or whatever it might be i want a replacement i want a, a refund whatever it can be right and also they can also ask information about the product as well <coughs> so there can be multiple things right so uh, what happens is usually there you have a customer at the one end right you have a customer at the one end oh, okay you have a cust okay it's not working well okay you have a customer at one end let's name it as customer and you have an a uh, uh, agent at its one end for an example there's a customer at its one end and uh, there is an agent at its uh, another end right so what happens is let's say uh, your customer okay what he does is try to talk, talk to an agent he tries to ping him saying them i have an issue with this order and all this stuff so what happens is agent goes at the back end and pull up the required information and shows it and talks to the customer based on that because of course agent does not knows any information about the customer right so he has to go to the back end and try to search it with the phone number or something like that and bring on the details of the customer and talk to him like okay you have bought this product your name is this your email is this etc etc stuff right <coughs> so customer so agent would be able to talk to him the agent talks to him and all that stuff let's say but there can be millions of customer on your website okay so for that let's say one agent can handle five customers at a time but there can be a possibility that there can be an overload of a customer there can be multiple customer with a very very much simple query they just want to ask where is their order they just want to cancel the order they just want a refund very simple query they have but still they have to wait in a queue to talk to a customer agent also there is one more overhead for you as you are running an e-commerce store you have to hire that much number of people so that they will be able to interact with the customer and solve their issue at the same time right so you have to handle so many number of people also the customers your website is going to be loaded a lot because customer have very simple questions but they still have to wait to talk to an agent so let's say when a customer has a very simple simple query so in that cases what you can do is you can just deploy a bot instead of an agent so what happens is just you can ask customer like okay what question do you have they can say you can give them four options like for an example i want a, a refund i want uh, i want a cancel my order i want to know the track my order i want to talk to an agent some like four options if they just have three options they just want to track the order or they just want to cancel the order they can click that and bot can do that for them right <coughs> bot can completely take care of that till that point agent could take care of more important work if a customer is having actual issue okay which cannot be solved by the bot in that cases you can transfer the chat to the agent but till that point you can keep the chat to the bot itself and to deploy this bot in salesforce you can use einstein bots so einstein bots are nothing but the bots which interact with the customer through multiple ways one of the ways website another ways are also available with the help of which they can interact with the customer and solve their very smaller small faqs right frequently asked question so that customer does not feels okay he is not prioritized or something like that and his simple queries are quickly answered so that's what the einstein bot is einstein bot is basically a bot deployed on your salesforce website or it can be anywhere so that customer could have uh, like he can quickly easily solve his query as fast as possible so that's what the einstein bot is now <clears throat> when do we use einstein bot as i've already told you um 
if you have watched my previous video in digital engagement if you have watched it okay what i had to do was in order to accept the work i had to go to the omni channel and i have to accept the work right as an agent i had to accept the work i have to go to the omni channel at the bottom and then i had to click on it accept the work and only then i was able to interact so there was a dependency on omni channel at all times if i was using omni channel only but instead if i use einstein bot no one has to sit at the omni channel <coughs> the bot will take care of everything so based on the customer response einstein bot will interact with the customer and get the necessary information or solve their issues so no one has to be always available at omni channel this is one of the most best thing of using the einstein bots you can combine einstein bot and digital engagement so that no one has to be always available at omni channel because it's not possible to so, so that a person can be always available at omni channel uh, we can deploy an einstein bot what it will do is basically whenever someone messages us over a facebook or a sms channel or somewhere like that okay what we can do is if no one is available we can just transfer the chat to the einstein bot and from there <coughs> einstein bot will take care of everything so that's where the einstein bot comes into the place if you want to uh small solve smaller number of issues short small number of issues or something like that or faqs if you want to resolve in that cases you can deploy einstein bot to your salesforce org and einstein bot will take care of all the faqs and the next few videos we are going to go through what exact exactly each of the variable in einstein bot is and how to deploy an einstein bot and how to take the control over from digital engagement to the einstein bot we are going to do everything in the coming video if you found this video helpful, I request you to please subscribe to this channel.